Lord. And what I'll we'll be dealing about today is just the doctrine of singing and singing praises unto God. And it's something that is very simple. Oftentimes you don't even hear a whole lot preached about it, but it's actually very important. It's a very important aspect of our church service. You think about the things that we do in a church service, you know, we, we pray, we read the scripture, you hear preaching, but one of the things we do more than, not necessarily in time-wise, but we sing four songs every single service. You notice that we're always singing these hymns and we're singing these songs. Why? Because the singing is important. It's very important. And it's one of these areas where I think that many churches actually end up lacking in is the song, is the, the singing, is the hymns. We're going to cover a lot of different things about, about the music. And just, just the fact alone, if you just consider this from the very beginning, the book of Psalms is the biggest book in the Bible. And the book of Psalms is a songbook. And it's easy to forget that sometimes because when we read our Bible, you know, you're reading from cover to cover. It's all God's word. And it's all great. So we read God's word and, and there's so much doctrine. There's so much packed into these psalms. There's so much great teaching. It can be easy to forget that you're actually reading a song. You're actually reading lyrics to songs that were set to music. They're being sung. That people were singing. You know, Some of them you can tell, but others it's hard to tell sometimes. And one of the reasons, I think, is also because what we've become grown used to as just being songs in general, especially out in the world, they're very lame you know even even religious songs especially the christian contemporary music they're very lame there's not much to it they're not packed with good doctrine they're not packed with saying much of anything at all but when you read the psalms what do you find you find all kinds of doctrine i mean even in the shorter ones psalms that are like five verses long or three verses there's still a bunch of good doctrine packed into these psalms just, I mean, just looking at Psalm 66, we're going to look at a bunch of Psalms, but look how Psalm 66 starts off. It says, make a joyful noise unto God, all you lands. And this is just my first point. When we're singing in church, it ought not to be a drudgery to sing praises unto our God in heaven. Okay. Let me repeat that. It ought not to be something you dread. It ought not to be something that you feel like you have to check off because you're in church that you have to do that, oh man, I have to sing to God. If that's the case, look, I've been there before, okay? So I'm not speaking as someone who doesn't understand or, you know, haven't ever been through that type of feeling, but it was wrong. You know, as I said this morning, you know, I'm ashamed of some of the things I used to do. I've been wrong many times in my life. And here's one more aspect where I was wrong. I didn't really like singing. I didn't want to do it. I would move my lips to the, to the words, right? And, and maybe utter, like if you were close enough, you might be able to hear something come out of my mouth. But it's not singing. And it's not what God wants from you when it comes time to in the congregation sing praises unto our Lord. And sometimes because things become habitual, because it becomes a routine, because it's just something we do, oftentimes we don't really think about it. But the songs that I choose to sing here out of this songbook, many of them are really good songs. There's a lot of good doctrine in here. They're giving praise unto our Lord. You know, there's different meanings for all the different songs. Some of them are just designed to give honor and glory unto the Most High in heaven. And that's good. And that's a good purpose. And we ought to do that, right? Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's why I picked that song out today. All praise to him who reigns above in majesty supreme. Just giving honor, exalting the name of God. But you know what? That ought to give us excitement. That ought to be something that we're happy about. It ought to be joyful. And when we come into church and we sing these songs, we ought to be happy about it. Let's make a joyful so sound unto the Lord, unto our God, unto our Savior. Because he's worthy. He deserves it.